Take a look at this. We're diving deep into the complex and rapidly evolving situation unfolding on California's shore. Okay, crisis in California. There's a surge in migrant boat landings that brings chaos to seaside communities. Okay, they're creating a dramatic surge in migrant boat landings that's causing major concerns. These migrants are actually arriving in small boats and not only a startling sight of the sunny beaches, but are also prompting a critical response from local and federal agencies. In San Diego, the situation is particularly intense. The customs and border protection have been trafficking a significant uptick in smuggling. And just last year, the incident rose um, by nearly 140% increase from 2020. Now, the director, Brandon Tucker, shared that sleepless nights that he endured worrying about the dangers these migrants face as they journey across the, per, per the oceans in overcrowded boats. Now, the stakes are incredibly high with migrants drowning deaths in San Diego coast or very high actually okay this is what we have going on in the San Diego waters and also San Diego is set to receive 19.6 million dollars to revive a migrant welcome center Okay, they're basically having federal funding to support a migrant welcome center. And this initiative aims to provide asylum seekers with essential services and guide them as they navigate their new environment. It's a critical development, especially as local facilities have been overwhelmed, leading to the controversial street releases of migrants without proper guidance support. This is a lot, guys. Uh... These migrants are very lucky. And here's another layer of migrants entering San Diego. We have migrants that thanks Biden for letting them in as U.S. Border Patrol San Diego Processing Center reached eye-popping 245% capacity. The agency processing centers in the region are at 245 capacity as over 1,800 migrants were detained in spaces for just 750 migrants to be held at this uh, facility. The overflow has actually resulted in more than just 125,000 migrants released onto the streets since last September. Now, these individuals are actually coming from countries as diverse as China, Indian, uh, Colombia, Egypt, Jordan, and those type of countries. And they're often arrived with a little more than the address they attend to reach. Now, the scale of the situation has placed immense pressure on local resources and has raised concerns about the adequacy of the vetting process. This influx is also a testament to the border geopolitical dynamics. Migrants arriving are often thankful for the opportunity to enter in the United States, expressing gratitude towards President Biden for his immigration policies. Yet, this overwhelming number of arrivals present profound challenges. Local authorities like San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond point out the strain on law enforcement and public services, citing California's status as a sanctuary state as a magnet for more migrants. Now, as we look at this unfolding situation, it's clear that the impact is profound on both local and a national level. How should we balance humanitarian needs with security concerns? What could be done to manage the surge effectively while ensuring the safety and well-being of both migrants and host communities? This is what they're thinking about. Now I turn to you. I mean, what are your thoughts on the federal government role in managing this crisis? How should local communities respond to the challenges posed by these new arrivals? I mean, these new arrivals is a lot. This is a lot going on. $19 million for migrants. Some will argue, what about $19 million for the people already here? $19 million for the homelessness. $19 million to combat homelessness and drug problem on our streets and our cities and states. I mean, let's discuss this in the comments below. Your opinions are very valuable as we unpack this multifaceted impact of this ongoing issue. I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.